using his authority, violating the public trust and lying repeatedly. But that didn't stop him from finding badges in city after city. Tonight, seven investigator Ross Jones reveals how it was able to happen and how some police chiefs could soon be in hot water. It's uh, frustrating that someone like this could slip through and the system um, is in place for a reason and it should have caught this guy. Plenty of police departments were willing to hire Officer Mark Aldrich, but very few, we learned, were eager to explain why. You think this is the best look right now, sir? You don't want to talk about this, sir? No, sir. Aldrich has worked for at least four different police agencies, running into serious trouble repeatedly. But instead of losing his badge, our investigation reveals he kept finding new ones. As an officer with Belleville Police, records show Aldrich obtained a vehicle from a towing company to give to a needy family. But instead of donating the car, according to police records, the vehicle showed up on eBay. Aldrich said he sold it for extra income. He would later claim the vehicle was always intended for his own use. Eventually, Aldrich wore out his welcome in Belleville, with the chief there telling me he asked him to resign. He did. And it wasn't long before Aldrich found his next job here in Huron Township, and trouble soon followed. Less than six months on the force, records show Aldrich responded to a vehicle crash that involved an exotic dancer. Aldrich arrested the woman for OWI and marijuana possession. A week later, while the charges against her were still pending, he met up with her at the strip club where she worked. Aldrich received lap dances, records show, and the woman performed a sex act. He was later accused of harassing the woman, sending texts that creeped her out. When questioned, Aldrich was deemed dishonest. Wrote a Huron Township lieutenant, I shudder to think of what his attitude or actions may consist of if he were allowed to continue employment. Aldrich resigned and began looking for his next job. Shame on us if we allow people like this guy to victimize the citizens that we took an oath to protect. Ron Haddad spent 14 years as Dearborn's police chief. We asked him to review Aldrich's background. Would he have given him a badge? I would not have hired this gentleman. To hire someone like this will clearly erode the integrity of the department. But at least one police chief was willing to roll the dice. I am taking a huge gamble, wrote the chief in Carleton, Michigan, and Aldrich better have all these issues behind him. Chief Roy Johnson hired Aldrich in 2017. While in Carleton, he racked up complaints as minor as speeding and running stop signs to more significant ones, like conducting an illegal traffic stop and dishonesty. He was hit with multiple citizen complaints over his anger and last October was accused of road rage. Can I pay dispatch? My girlfriend and my daughter-in-law were just up at Kroger and someone like brandished a firearm at him and threatened them. During a dispute over a parking space, a woman at this grocery store said Aldrich lifted his shirt to reveal his gun, then asked, do you want to see my badge? He called her a rash of expletives. She didn't pursue charges, and by phone, Aldrich claimed he did not brandish his gun. But when he was questioned about what happened, his police chief deemed Aldrich was not truthful. But perhaps the most serious allegation against him came back in January as Aldrich was preparing to leave Carleton. According to the police chief, while he was reviewing body camera footage stemming from citizen complaints against Aldrich, he noticed one of the videos had been deleted. Aldrich, he said, was the top suspect. But instead of pursuing the issue, the chief dropped it there, writing in this memo, I have decided not to pursue criminal charges for the destruction of evidence due to the fact that Aldrich has resigned. By phone, Aldrich told me, I don't have any recollection of deleting that body cam. Chief, can we talk to you one second? It's Ross Jones with Channel 7. The chief declined our request for an interview, so we found him earlier this month as he picked up his lunch. You wrote that hiring him would be a huge gamble. You hired him anyway. Well, why did you gamble with public safety? I have safety? a press release for you at the station. Why would you take a gamble on a guy who had been I found have to have had release. sex with a woman he gave a DUI to? Okay. Why, why would you hire somebody like that? I have got a press release for you at the station. If you... We wanted to ask the chief why, on the very same day he wrote that Aldrich may have destroyed evidence, he reported to state regulators that he resigned in good standing. You were going to pursue charges of destruction of property. Instead, you let another agency hire him. Why did you do that? I have the press release for you. I don't have anything to add or subtract. Do you, you have any answers? 
I have a press release for you. By reporting that Aldridge left on good terms, it prevented the Michigan Commission on Law Enforcement Standards from flagging his license, making it easier for another agency to hire him. It wasn't long before one did. I'm blown away and impressed by how well Lake Orion PD is doing on recruiting. Earlier this year, Lake Orion's police department extended a warm welcome to Officer Aldrich, calling him a very approachable fellow. He was hired by Police Chief Todd Stanfield, who declared, under the penalty of perjury, that he had reviewed Aldrich's personnel file from Carleton PD. He never did. Chief, before the meeting begins, can we talk to you quickly? It's Ross Jones with Channel 7. Chief Stanfield wouldn't agree to an interview either, so we found him at a city council meeting earlier this month. Why would you hire an officer without doing a complete background investigation? I have no comment. No well, you, you hired this officer, sir. Stanfield wouldn't answer our questions, then ducked behind a locked door. Hours later, the city council voted to demote him from chief to lieutenant. City Council President Jerry Narsh would not say if Aldrich's hiring was the reason why. Why would Lake Orion hire an officer like that? Well, I guess that's a good question. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you. Well, a lot of police chiefs are telling different stories tonight. Lake Orion officials say that Aldrich is currently on administrative leave, but M. Cole says his license is in inactive status, meaning he can't be a cop anywhere right now. Here on Township's police chief tells me he only hired Aldrich after getting rave reviews from Belleville's police chief, who had told me previously he asked Aldrich to resign. As for Chief Roy Johnson in Carleton, he said he reported that Aldrich left in good standing because it wasn't until later that same day that he suspected him of destroying that body camera footage. Mark Aldrich, as you may suspect, did not agree to an interview on this story. Former Army, he was a cable puller, so slang term was a J-Dog. So that's how we have J-Dog, junk removal and hauling. Saturday, we are doing our official grand opening for J-Dog, junk removal and hauling out of Plymouth. And we're partnering also with um, another franchise, our Toledo Monroe franchise. So we're doing a big tailgate event where we're gonna have Veterans Radio out there. Um, we are part of Veteran of the Game. We are the ones that bring on the veteran in the second quarter, every single home game. So we have, I've been working with that organization for about five years now, and it's near and dear to my heart, but it's a way that we can help veterans that no matter if you're going to the game to go physically into the game or just hang out and tailgate, it's a place where veterans can be around other veterans, hang out, connect, and have a sense of purpose on a good football Saturday over at Michigan. So we're doing our official grand opening and um, it's gonna be a great event. If you're gonna be out there, stop by our tailgate tent. It's right next to the Michigan Alumni Football Association. So we're directly across the street from them, um, right off the main steps to going into the big house. We've partnered with them for the last three years and it's been a great relationship. They are very veteran friendly. 